The transform copy tool in 3D Coat and 3D Coat Textura is very similar to making a selection marquee in Photoshop and applying a transform to it. Let's see how that works here. With the tool active and with the correct layer chosen, I can begin to select the area I want to copy or move. I first need to go to the E panel or I can hit the E key to bring it to my cursor and then select the type of shape draw mode I want to utilize in order to create my selection. Since the area I want to copy is circular, I will go ahead and choose the circle draw mode. I'll left mouse click at the center, then drag until I have the shape I want. And I can hold the space bar just like I would in Photoshop to move as I am making the selection. Then let up from the space bar. Now continue making any further adjustments as I click, hold, and drag, and then release pressure from my stylus. It has erased the old position. I can now move this selection to another area and apply it. I want to mention something very important first. You need to check erase old position before you make the selection. Now I can move this and if I want I can scale it down by clicking and dragging. If you need to reset any transform adjustments just make sure to hit the appropriate button in the tool options panel rather than control Z to undo because the undo command would only undo the last operation before you made adjustments. I can left mouse click inside the bounding box and move it into position, holding down the shift key and clicking on a corner point and dragging will let me scale it uniformly. So again, I can move it. When I'm done, I can go ahead and hit the enter key to apply it but I also want to show that you can rotate by left mouse clicking outside the bounding box here to rotate it. So we will rotate it just a bit. If I wanted to skew it, I could hold down the control key and click on a corner point, just like I would in Photoshop. Once more to reset this, I want to go to the tool options panel and choose reset proportion. Okay. Now let's hit enter and we have copied that pixel information over whatever channels you have enabled that's what it's going to copy the selection remains visible and usable unless i remove it by hitting the escape key but let's try and apply it somewhere else uniformly scale it rotate and then hit the enter key. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit escape to drop that. If I wanted, I could save and reload that later. You can export to your image editor like Photoshop and re-import it back. You can also edit it in the external editor. Let me go ahead and show one last thing. This time I will uncheck erase old position and I will make the selection one more time. With the selection made, I can left mouse click and drag to reposition it where I need. And this time it's not simply moving the pixels from one place to the other, but it's a copy. Then hit the enter key. Uh, before I do that, I just want to mention when I hold down the shift key and click one of the corner points, you can see the center of the scale is not the center of the selection. It's actually here in this corner. If I start here, it'll be the opposite corner, but we can choose to scale around center. Now, when I hold down the shift key, it's scaling around the center of the selection. Then hit enter and then escape. Okay, so let me do this one more time. Another thing I can do is I can turn on symmetry and simply hit the enter key in order to create a symmetrical copy. Let's go ahead and hit escape. So that's a quick look at using the transform copy tool in 3D Coat and 3D Coat Texture. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.